Hello ladies and gentlemen, you can see that we're in Octoprint and as promised I'm going to show you how I got my camera feed working and if you didn't watch the first video I'm going to put a card up in the corner you can click and see the first video where I actually got Octoprint running on an old Asus laptop from 2013 but I did not have the video feed working and I'll be honest with you I didn't really know how to do it at first I tried setting up a stream with VLC and that did not work. It would show something up here, but only like one screenshot and not like an actual video feed and it was real sluggish and the camera just didn't look right. The camera is just a cheap on Walmart branded camera, ONN, the on Walmart branded camera, supposedly a 1440p camera, but I'm just running that 720p because Unless you install a plug-in, this is as big as it needs to be, or this is as big as it gets. Um, so, you know, I found that the performance was a lot better and whatnot. So anyway, let me show you how I got this set up, okay? Obviously, I'm in Windows, or maybe it's not obvious, I don't know. Okay, let's jump on over into MOBA Xterm, which is the terminal program that I've used for many years on Windows. But I have SSH'd into the old laptop running the Octoprint server uh, with the camera attached and I have did a uh, list of all processes and looked for something called MJPEG and you can see there's a process running called MJPEG streamer with some um, parameters here after it and that is basically what I'm going to show you how to install and configure so that you can get your stream running as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, just to prove to you this is this is working, is I'm going to kill this process, the 1799, and when we switch switch back over to Octoprint, uh, the video feed is going to die. Okay, so I'll just do sudo kill nine, and then 1799. Boop. You got to make that noise, boop, or it won't work. Okay, and if everything went right, and I flip back over here. Oh my god, webcam stream not loaded. So that's the problem, okay? And you can see that I have configured the URL here to be octoprint.local colon 8080 and then a um, question mark action equals stream. We'll get to that and where to set that up and how that comes into play here in just a bit. So let's flip back over here. And uh, if we look in my Octoprint or my directory for my user Trav here, which is me, you can see I've got a folder in there called MJPEG Streamer already because I've already got it set up, right? But um, whenever I clone this, I made a folder called MJPEG Streamer, and the stuff that you clone from Git actually lives in MJPEG Streamer Experimental. So for the purposes of this demo, um, I'm just gonna clone it right here into my um, my home directory for my user Trav and then I'll delete it and probably go back to this simply because that is uh, where I had it working to begin with okay. I am by no means some kind of genius right so what I did was find this guy named uh, John Clark has a you know github repo and he basically just has the MJPEG setup uh, in here. And the actual repo is this guy, Jackson Liam. Okay. Now, I have some experience installing stuff on Ubuntu using app get. And this is actually an error right here. Whenever I just copied and pasted it to begin with, it like went nuts. But here's what you got to do. Okay. And this is just because. I've done this kind of thing many times. So the first thing that you do is you do um, app get update and you really don't even have to use apt hyphen get anymore. Most of it just works with apt. But anyway, we're going to run with what's here. So this actually needs to be two different lines instead of one big line. If you just copy and paste it, it's going to freak out. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and I'll just do it, you know, not being a hero and just copy and paste what this guy has. 
And I didn't have to put in my password for this sudo because it hasn't been too long ago since I did it. Um, I'm running on my Starlink, by the way. You may have seen that video, so that actually went really fast, and I'm happy. Um, so we did app get update, and this updates all of the um, packages or the uh, signatures of the packages in the repo so it can find them. So you have to do that pretty much before you do any kind of apt type stuff. Now let's flip back over here. Then the next part is actually this. Okay, and this is all some build dependencies that allows you to build software from source, which is what we're going to do. So I'll copy this, this next sudo part, and this is where the actual install takes place. I don't think anything will actually be installed on my system because I've already done this. And once you do it once, you don't do it again. So you see it went through and it said this is already the newest version, already the newest version, and that's great. That's fine. I'm not worried about this package. This shim package is no longer needed. So, But when you do it, it's going to actually print out a bunch of stuff that it installs unless you've already got CMake and G++ and all these libraries installed already. So now we're actually ready to clone the git repo. Uh, but let me do pwd to make sure. Yeah, I'm just going to clone this right in my home directory. So, um, you know, some people would scream and holler that I'm doing this, but I really don't care. Um, that's just what I'm going to do. So one of the things we had here was uh, install git. So I've got git. And we're going to use git clone and then clone this Jackson Liam's uh, MJPEG streamer code so we'll go ahead and do that right click and paste okay this won't take too long um oh there's already a mjpeg streamer okay so i'm gonna have to do this in a different place uh, let me just do make dir Hey, you spell yeah mjpeg streamer setup demo there we go and as you can see i am not some kind of wizard i make mistakes too i could edit that out but i'm not going to do that there we go now it's going to go through and do what git does and it's very fast because i'm on starlink it's great Okay, so if I do ls, uh, you can see we have this folder mjpeg streamer in here because that's just what we clone. So let's go ahead and switch over to it. Okay, now we continue on with this dude's setup tutorial. So he had us do that. That's brilliant. That's exactly what I just did. Actually, I think I need to go one more into uh, mjpeg streamer experimental. There we go. Yeah, this is a beautiful... <laughs> path but who cares it's gonna work okay so go back and then now we just um, we're gonna run this this build uh, I'm not sure why this quote thing is here because it wasn't when I ran through this I didn't have to do anything to fix this I'll do it now okay so we'll just right click and paste and before I hit enter I'm gonna go ahead and fix these quotes and I really don't think, I, I know I don't, I didn't have to do this. I don't know if this is going to work, to tell you the honest truth. And poop. No. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let me go look at this and see what I did here. So C, make, G, and then... Uh, Unix make files. Ah. Okay, there we go. We got to put that in. Unix make files. Boop. There we go. So now it's made some make files very quick. Um, sorry that I keep going boop, but you know, it's more fun to build software that way. And then we're just going to install it. <clears throat> Let's 
go ahead and paste this in right here. Y'all, boop. I love doing boop. I'd be lying if I said other. Okay, and that's it. Um, now in this folder, there should be a bunch of uh, .o files, and uh, you know, there's your header files and all kinds of stuff. Okay, and I'm by no means any kind of expert on this. You can see we got some Docker in here, but you know, I I don't actually do this with Docker. Uh, personally, I think maybe that you know it does it itself. But the only thing I'm really worried about in here is if there is MJPEG Streamer as a uh, an executable um, program, and there it is. Okay, so once we get that far, uh, it gets pretty easy. Um, so now you have to make sure to add your user to the um, video group okay so to do that and my user's not pi so see this is you know everybody uses octoprint with a raspberry pi but i don't so instead of pi whatever your username is that you're running all this as and i run octoprint as trav so i changed that from pi to trav and uh, so there we go i was already in the video group but um you know if you weren't in there to begin with, that's what this does, user mod. And then it's uh, the big G adds, uh, you know, a user to a group. Okay. So now we're actually ready to run this thing. And just so I don't screw this up, um, I copied what I used to run this. And so, you know, because there's no way I could remember this, but I can explain to you what it does. And I'm just going to paste this right here. Okay. And uh, basically, let me run through this here. So I've got a dot here that as long as I'm inside of this directory where all this was built, I've got this dot. And that means in this directory, I'll do forward slash MJPEG streamer. That's my um, runnable or executable program. You know, whenever I did the LS, it's green. And then here's the part that confused me whenever I first did this. You got hyphen I and then some double quotes. And inside the double quotes, there's more parameters. And that's because this input uh, part has to take a certain uh, set of modules. And you don't have to put all these, I don't think. But you have to have how you want to do the input. Now mine is, um, is the UVC. Uh, input module um, so that's what I'm loading there's a bunch more I'm not gonna go into those uh, you can poke around you can like Google MJPEG streamer input modules there's several that exist so but for our purposes and probably most of you that's what you're gonna put now this hyphen D I'm gonna show you how to go find your video devices mine happens to be on video zero and in all honesty, that was a trial and error process because that laptop does have a webcam feed or a uh, built-in webcam. So that actually lives on video two. If you're wondering what's on video one and video three, video one and three are like meta feeds for video zero and video um, two uh, respectively. Uh, yeah, I know it's, it's very strange. Uh, hyphen R is your resolution. I started out running this at 1080p. It was a little sluggish, but you know who cares. And then the output that I wanted was HTTP. So, and again, we close the double quotes for the the hyphen I right here. Okay, so don't get confused by that. The hyphen I, you know, gets a set of double quotes with all with all of its parameters in it hyphen o gets a set of double quotes with all of its parameters i don't really have a um any other parameters besides the output but i'm using output http dot so because i want to output a stream that can be accessed by a browser which is exactly how octoprint is set up to work i'm going to take this ampersand on the end off that way i can run it and then still have control over the uh, well I'll put it back but that gives you lets you run a 
command and still have control over your um, terminal once it runs. It's, it's called backgrounding the process. I'll go ahead and hit enter here. And, uh, oops. Let's see, what's it complaining about? And, ooh. Okay, I think I figured out what it is. Um, I went back and looked at my original installation that I've been using of MJPEG Streamer. Now, for whatever reason, uh, the SO files, the, uh, uh, the input UVC and the output HTTP, dot so's are right in the same directory with mjpeg streamer they do exist here but i'm going to have to move them into this folder so let me show you how to do that okay and i am in my demo folder where we've set this up from scratch over the last you know few minutes so uh this is again this is one of those things it's just uh real life and this happens i don't know if this guy has changed his installation routine since I got this working I've been using the camera for two or three weeks I think but you're gonna go into your plugins um, directory and then right here you can see we've got all these uh, input and output modules so I'm gonna go into the output uh, UVC or what is it um, do to do to do uh, no, it's input UVC. Sorry. Let's go in there, and you can see there is um, input UVC SO. So what I'll do is just copy this into um, input.uvc.so. Let's see. I need to go back. Uh, let's see. One, two directories. So I'm just going to do dot, 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 like that. And that should put it um, two directories up. So now let's go back two directories. Now I'm in the root again of MJPEG Streamer Experimental. And uh, there it is, input UVCSO. Now let's do the same thing to get output HTTP. This may or may not work. I don't know. So um, let's just hold on for the ride. We might actually get it to work. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go to output HTTP. That's a folder, see, or a directory. Sorry, because we're in, in Linux. I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> so I'm just going to do CP, and we'll do output HTTP SO, and then dot, dot, forward slash, dot, dot. Now let's go back to uh, directories, and here we go. We have our SOs. The output HTTP SO and the input UVC SO. Now let's try to run that big funky command again that we tried so long ago. I'm just pressing up. Come on, there. Up, up, up. I, oh yeah. All right. Let's just hold. You know, cross your fingers. Boop. There we go. That's exactly what we want to see. Now all these errors here might seem a bit terrifying, right? But um, everything's fine because that's just for cameras that support all this stuff. And I don't actually have, you know, this particular camera is just a cheap Walmart webcam. And it doesn't have pan and tilt support and focus. And it may be able to zoom, I don't know, but I don't really care. And this is an important part you need to pay attention to. By default, it's on uh, going to be on 8080 for the, uh, the port to listen. And then I'm going to show you a neat trick once we... You get done with the uh, looking at the stream uh, from within Octoprint. So at this point, this should be working, assuming that the camera is on Dev Video Zero. And I'll show you something else um, about where to go see your different video cameras and stuff. So let's switch back over to Octoprint. And look, it came back. I didn't even have to refresh. Look at that. Uh, in case you're wondering, I'm printing some little hooks to hang an old fish tank lot to give our peace lily some uh, lot. Because, um, you know, you can grow plants with that particular lot. And uh, so I just wanted to have something printing while I was doing this demo. So there you go. You can see that that got it working. And the takeaway was, uh, regardless of how you end up building this, 
And I don't remember actually having to move these SOs out to the root with MJPEG Streamer. But if you follow this tutorial exactly what I did, make sure to go into that plugins directory uh, that's right here and copy your SO files that you're going to use out. Like I said, there's a bunch of other input and output SOs. I'll leave it up to you to go find it. If you understand how that works, you can go look up and see what they all do. Who knows? Because uh, here's the Raspi Cam, and that seems to work you know, really easy, for example, if you're using a Raspberry Pi. But I'm not. So, um, yeah. So now let's go in here and make sure that you understand where to go to set this up. So go up here to your little wrench and click it. And then I'm going to go to webcam and time lapse. And this is the important part. Uh, notice that it showed us by default it's going to be on port 8080. So I just used octoprint.local. Uh, you could also use localhost. That would also work. But um, I went with octoprint.local because, you know, as you can see, that's how I'm actually accessing it here. And then colon uh, 8080, the port that it's on forward slash and then you do um, a question mark and then action equals stream and you can hit test to test it and as long as you can see that you're good to go okay and if everything went right that will work for you okay um, <clears throat> now sorry sorry uh, did I background that uh, no, no, I did not. So I can sit here and, and hit enter and stuff all I want. Uh, I'm just going to do control C to shut down the feed. Okay. And because I didn't background the process so I could still use this tab. This, and it doesn't matter if it's, it's backgrounded or not, but whenever you kill it, notice your webcam stream is dead. Uh, all you got to do is fire it back up and it'll work. But anyway, here's what I was going to show you. If you go into... Um, dev okay actually you don't even have to go into dev but since I did it that way we'll do LS and then video star and this will show you the cameras that are available so these come in pairs it seems video 0 and 1 all have to do with that webcam that I was just showing you that's mounted at the top of my 3d printer uh, as I understand it from a little bit of reading and research, the uh, the video one, we can't actually plug that in as a device. It's a meta device that has some information that MJPEG Streamer and VLC and whatever can use to get things. Video two and three on my computer goes to the built-in webcam on the laptop. And just for giggles, I'll go ahead and show you that. Okay, so let me go back out into my... Uh, let me go to my home folder and we'll fire it back up. Yeah, MJPEG streamer setup demo and uh, there we go. We're back in to where uh, this is. I'll hit up a few times and we'll get back to our command. I'll go ahead and background it too in case I want to go do something in this same terminal but if I change this not to video one but video two what you're gonna see is the built-in webcam it's just gonna be a nasty shot of my basement with a bunch of stuff um, visible everything's the same it's just a different camera let's go back and look and see there is uh, there's some old clothes that are hanging and pops and stuff I'm in the process of trying to get this set up as a workshop but you know whatever it's going going kinda slow so there you go. That's how, if you have multiple cameras, you could pick which one shows up. So if this was helpful and got this working for you, I'd appreciate it if you'd go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. If you got any questions, leave it down in the comments, and me or somebody that sees this might jump down there and try to help you out. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you all later.